Hey everyone, um, long time no see. Yeah, I know, I took a pretty long hi hiatus. Um, but I'm back now. I have the car, so I can take the frame and tighten it and start moving on with this project. Um, I didn't skip anything, so literally the last video um, that I made is where I left everything off. So I will still take you through the entire build. Um, I'm gonna do the video for the frame tightening this coming week. Um, I did get something pretty cool. I got the Big Tree Tech B BTT-S42C stepper motor closed loop with the driver. Um, I guess the best thing would be to first just go through uh, and show you what I bought on AliExpress. Uh, so this is it. Uh, you have three different kits. So basically you have kit number three, which is the cheapest one. It comes with a driver adapter to go into your board, uh, a screen and cables. Kit 2 includes everything that you see in the... Crap. Jesus. There we go. Everything that you get in kit number 3, but you also get this mount for the stepper motor. And then kit number 1 includes everything. Uh, which is probably what you want. Because then it's less work, and everything just works. Um, and you don't need to put a magnet on the shaft or do any of that crap. It'll be, it'll be pre-assembled. Uh, so benefits of this is it's closed loop. So there's very low chance or almost no chance for your 3D printer to skip steps, right? So when the board, like the octopus, will uh, send a command to that stepper, that stepper will not will will do its best to move to that step it will know if it made it to where it needed to go or not because every single step has been checked uh so this is just a little quick overview motor you can do subdivision settings to 256 which is pretty much standard um yeah and you can go on aliexpress and search there's not a lot of selections uh, you will basically just find this one. Uh, my main concern is going to be the noise. Uh, I really hope the driver they're using uh, is quiet. If it's not, then I will most likely revert to just using a standard driver that's not closed loop. But if it's not too noisy, then this is going to be this is going to be it. So this is, I would say, a trial. to see if this works for me or not. So, I did get a lot of cameras. And they're all 4K, so no, no more of that blurry shit. So this is the box it came in. Let me see if, we can, if I can arrange this a little better. This is right in my face right now, not very comfy. Uh, so this is the box, nothing special, they're using that, uh, Chinese disgusting tape, that smells pretty bad, probably because it's cancer in California, I'm sure. Uh, let's open it, uh, this is actually the first time I've ever done a box, what is it called, unboxing, yeah. I did not open this beforehand, so hopefully this is actually the shipment I've been waiting for. If not, it'll be pretty funny. Open it. And there's some sex toys in it or something. Not that I order any, but that would be hilarious. I did get some random shipments before from AliExpress. Not what I ordered. I think it was just a, a mix-up. Alright, we'll get some bubble wrap. Alright, Big Tree Tech. Alright, so we got the right shit. One. And two. 
Is there anything else? Ooh, there's some stuff. I ordered a fan, I guess. I must have ordered a fan. Don't remember. That's what happens with the alley. It takes so long, you pretty much forget. Um, yeah. I must have bought this. That's a big ass fan. Cool. All right, well, let's, I'll have to remember why I actually got this. Oh, maybe, oh, you know what? I know what that is. That's so stupid. Um, they were doing, if you spend over $60, you get a free gift. This is my free gift. It's a 12 volt fan. Very exciting. I like fans though. I'll use it for something. All right, so what do we got here? Maybe, um, maybe we'll just do this. I'll just make this much smaller. So it's not in the way. I'll just put it up here in the left corner. All right, like I said before, it's still a work in progress with the cameras and everything. see me pretty good there we go drop you down a little all right so the stepper motor as always big tree tech nice nice box nice packaging the motor kit pretty well packaged i'd say this is the part that goes into your board the control board uh, I'm using the Octus, Octopus Pro, so that's where this thing's gonna go into. Uh, looks like there's some solder left on it, solder. Masking, it looks okay. Pretty good solder. Pretty good. Their legs are nice and straight. Not bad. And we'll have the wire. So this is the wire you run from the little plug I just showed you to the actual driver and the stepper motor setup. Look at that, fully assembled. And this is your... That's aluminum. This thing right here is aluminum, so it's going to be a good heat sink for that. Hopefully a good heat sink for the driver that's attached to it. Wow, that does not turn. Oh, it does turn. Wow, it's pretty hard to turn it. So you just have your standard stepper motor. One of those five dollar screens. Is this a button? Oh, it is a button. A little thing is a button. And there's another button above here. That's nice. Metal buttons. That's, feels like quality. I can tell you that right now. It looks well made. The aluminum bracket that holds everything is very good quality. If only my camera would focus nicely. Well, that's pretty good. All right. Okay, we'll pop that back in there. Let's look at this box. Uh, it's supposed to be the same thing. I'll just double check. And it's got everything that... Same exact thing in there too. There's no instructions. You just have to figure it out. This is going to be part of the fun, I guess. Looks clean. Like whoever... I know it's not a very complicated thing to design this thing. 
Um, but I don't know if they... I'm guessing they're machining it. Um, since I, I'm guessing it would be very low runner. Uh, even though it came out probably a year ago. I don't know how many people are using this. That is freaking cool. Oh, this turns much easier. Uh-oh. Concern number one. They definitely don't turn the same. Definitely not as easy to turn. This one's easy. Just... This one really struggles. Oh, what the hell? Let's see. Let me grab something. That's not gonna do it. All right, what do we got? What kind of tools do we have around here? Definitely different. I hope this doesn't give me any issues. Cause this one I can just look this one I can just turn like this. See? Okay. Hopefully it's not their shitty glue job or something that's screwing everything up. Um while we add this, let me just show you quickly the drivers that I have. Drives. Because my previous videos were pretty blurry. I got eight drives. Um, so I'm still going to use... So it's TMC 22NN version 1.2. Um, I'm still going to use them for the Z-axis and the extruder motor. And I'll have a couple of spares. Unless those don't work out, then yeah, I'll just be using the drives. <laughs> 